Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share another pocket letter pal that I made. This is, I believe, my fourth one. I have one more, I think, left in me. <laughs> um, these pocket litter pals, I don't know how some folks just whip them out, but these take me so long and take so much out of me. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to do this one for Marie Housie, who is sweet enough to make a pocket letter pal for me. And I know she loves the gorgeous girls, so I thought I would do a gorgeous girl themed one for her. I used this super cute decoupage pack that I received from Sue Kitten One, who's in the UK. But you can get these decoupage packs now in the US as well. And I know Jamie at her Not Too Shabby Shop offers them. And they're super, super dimensional. There's so many layers. And what I thought I would do to not only stretch the decoupage packs, but also to have them fit better in these pocket letter pockets was I split them up. So for example, this little image here has one, two, three, four, five layers. And then there's another sheet that has just a background, just the image itself. So there's six total. So I broke them up into like three layers each. And so, for example, I did these two from an image that was supposed to be one super dimensional one. And they're still really dimensional and super fun. So it has the base. This one has the face. This one has the arm and the two legs, and that pops up really cute. And then the one that I put in the pocket for Marie has the base. It has a second kind of big layer, and then it has her bangs, and then this front leg and her arm. So there's plenty for each image in a big package like this. They have two of each image, so you could actually get four separate little dimensional images for each one. It's pretty amazing. They they really do go a long way. The little foxy girl, she has her hair here and a separate layer for her dress and background. This one, um, it's even more dimensional. I have the face kind of recessed here, this top layer, and then a separate skirt layer. And with each layer, I kind of rolled the little image. I don't know if I pull it out of the pocket, maybe you'll be able to see a little bit better. See, so you have the edges kind of curled around, and all I did was kind of roll it around a thicker marker. And then once I got the kind of shape I wanted, I put foam adhesive just down the middle and then liquid adhesive along the sides. And I thought they came out really cute. And I fussy cut out all the photo corners. I didn't have to do any coloring on these, but I did cut out each layer, cut off all the little nubs and inked all the edges. And then I used some Tim Holtz little playing cards. They're not really playing cards, they're more alphabet cards. So I did MH for Marie Housie and XOXO, just for hugs and kisses. And then I used some sticker embellishments that were gifted to me by Pat S. Patricia here and here and then there's I'm gonna keep the back all a surprise so that Marie has something you know to look forward to that she doesn't know anything about and then for this one I used one of those little die cut envelopes that or little bags that Marla H had sent to me and I just inked all the edges and then put a little bit of washi tape that's a special delivery I had some of these die cut poodles left over from Beth of Beth Scrapbook Room and I just inked the edges kind of where I thought the shadows would be. And this is on glittery paper, it's so cute. And then I used my black marker just to color in the nose fully. I think that came out super cute. So my letter to Marie is gonna be there. And I put the poodle because that represents me so well. Um, well, actually represents biscuit. <laughs> And then for this, I wanted a little dangle here. So I used the background. <laughs> there was a little tag picture. It was a little big, I thought. So I cut it down and I used my corner chomper and then inked the edges. And then I lined the back with some more of the paper from the paper pack to match the backgrounds where the little girls were. And I put my name, my YouTube name, the date I did it or finished it. <laughs> and then I titled this pocket letter is for my gorgeous friend. I used Martha Stewart ribbon to tie the little loop and a double bow. Along the edge I used some washi tape from the Dollar Tree and 
I just made sure to try to line up the image because it's kind of translucent a little bit where the white areas are. So I did the front and the back because I didn't want the back to be looking unfinished. And then for the center pocket here, I tried, I have been using my sewing machine just to sew up the pocket, but I didn't want to get my machine out and stuff. So I tried a different technique. I used my hot glue gun. I just kind of tried to melt the plastic. And I will be honest, it didn't do a great clean job, which is why there's also washi tape here <laughs> and also on the back here. But I do like how this pocket came out and it does seem very secure. And inside the shaker pocket, I included blue sequins of different colors, black sequins, gray sequins, silver sequins, and then these three word beads heart, always, and friend, uh, because that's how I feel about Marie. And that's my pocket letter. I really, I did enjoy doing this. They just take me a really long time. I'm a really slow crafter <laughs> is what it comes down to. Anyway, Marie, I hope you like it, and I hope you all are having a wonderful crafty day. Thanks for watching.